Despite the solid scientific foundation supporting this fact, it's intriguing how many myths and misconceptions have cropped up around the speed of light. Today, we're going to delve into some of these myths. We'll explore the common belief that the speed of light isn't absolute, the tantalizing idea of traveling faster than light, the misconception that information can bypass the speed of light, the science fiction inspired concept of warp speed, and the notion that light travels instantaneously. Each of these myths has a fascinating story to tell, so stay tuned as we journey into the myths and realities of the speed of light. First up, a myth that questions the constancy of light speed. Some suggest that the speed of light isn't a constant value. This couldn't be further from the truth. The speed of light in a vacuum is an absolute constant and is a cornerstone of modern physics. It's so crucial, in fact, that it's integral to Einstein's theory of relativity. Now, it's true that the speed of light can change when it passes through different mediums, like water or glass, but when it comes to a vacuum, the speed of light remains unflinchingly constant at precisely 299,792,458 meters per second. So, remember, the speed of light remains constant in a vacuum. It's not a variable we can adjust at will. It's one of those unshakable truths that the universe has presented to us. And now, let's tackle the exciting idea of faster-than-light travel. A common myth, often fueled by sci-fi fantasies, suggests that we can zip across the cosmos at speeds outpacing light itself. But what does science say about this? Let's turn to Einstein's special theory of relativity. This theory tells us that as an object's speed approaches the speed of light, its mass begins to increase exponentially. Now, this is where things get tricky. To push a mass to move faster, we need energy. But as the object's speed nears light speed, and its mass shoots up, the energy needed to propel it goes up too. In fact, it would take infinite energy to push an object to reach or exceed the speed of light. The implication is clear. For any object with mass, faster than light travel is a no-go. It's not a matter of technology or willpower, but a fundamental law of the universe that we can't simply brush aside. This might feel like a bit of a letdown for those of us dreaming of intergalactic voyages, but it's a testament to the awe-inspiring nature of our universe. The rules it plays by are not always in line with our desires or imaginations. Sadly, science tells us that warp speed remains in the realm of science fiction. And ever thought you could send a message instantly, bypassing light speed? This is a common myth that many of us have pondered at some point, fueled by the seamless communication we experience in our digital age. But let's untangle the reality from the myth. Information, just like matter and energy, must obey the laws of physics. It's not some ethereal entity that can flit across the universe in the blink of an eye. When we say information, we essentially mean organized data transmitted through signals. These signals could be electrical, like in the wires of your internet router, or they could be electromagnetic, like radio waves from a broadcasting station. And here's the key point. All these signals cannot exceed the speed of light. Whether it's an email zipping through fiber optic cables or a text message flying through the airwaves, the speed limit set by light holds firm. This principle underpins our understanding of causality, the cause and effect relationship. If information could travel faster than light, it would mean the effect could precede the cause, leading to paradoxes that break down our understanding of the universe. So while our modern technology might make it feel like we're communicating instantly, there's still a minuscule delay, a delay governed by the speed of light. So no, we can't send information faster than light can travel. As much as we'd like to believe in instant communication, the speed of light remains the universe's ultimate speed limit. Inspired by sci-fi, many dream of warp speed as a future technology. The allure of traversing the vast cosmos in the blink of an eye or bending the fabric of space and time to our will is indeed a captivating notion. This concept known as warp speed proposes that we could travel faster than light by warping space itself. But what does science have to say about this? Unfortunately, the general consensus is not in favor of our Star Trek dreams. The concept of warp drives, while a fascinating theoretical idea, remains firmly in the realm of speculation. Current understanding of physics and technology does not support the feasibility of warp speed. Why, you ask? Well, the idea of warping space requires exotic forms of matter with negative energy density, which we have yet to discover. 
Even if such matter existed, the energy requirements to warp spacetime on a scale large enough for a spaceship are astronomically high beyond our current capabilities. Moreover, the creation of a warp bubble could potentially cause catastrophic effects, including the destruction of the star system at the destination. Not to mention any minor error in the calculations could result in the complete annihilation of the spacecraft and its crew. So while we can dream about the possibilities and continue to explore the frontiers of theoretical physics, we must temper our expectations with the realities of our current scientific understanding. So the prospect of warp speed remains confined to the pages of science fiction. Finally, a myth that perceives light as traveling instantaneously. This myth suggests that light in all its fantastical glory moves so rapidly it might as well be considered instantaneous. But, like our previous myths, this too is a false notion. Light, while incredibly fast, does not possess infinite speed. It travels at a finite speed, a well-measured and universally accepted constant of 299,792,458 meters per second in a vacuum. Now, why does this matter? Consider the stars. These celestial bodies scattered across the vast expanse of the universe emit light that takes time to reach us. When we gaze up at the night sky, we're looking at a cosmic history book. The light from distant stars has journeyed for years, even centuries, to reach our eyes. This means we're seeing these stars not as they are now, but as they were when the light we're seeing first began its voyage. So the next time you're stargazing, remember that you're not just looking at stars, but peering into the past, witnessing a celestial show that started long before our time. This is possible because light does not travel instantaneously, it has a finite speed. We've debunked some common myths about the speed of light. We've seen that it is indeed an absolute constant in a vacuum and its speed is not subject to change. We've also tackled the notion of faster than light travel, a captivating but impossible idea due to the infinite energy required. The belief that information can be transmitted instantaneously has also been dispelled as information, like matter and energy, cannot exceed the speed of light. The concept of warp speed, while fascinating, remains a theoretical concept, and the idea that light travels instantaneously with an infinite speed is simply not true. The speed of light, although finite, remains one of the most intriguing aspects of our universe.